a couple weeks ago, Google DeepMind released a research paper entitled Genie 2. And in it, they talked about turning a single image into a playable video game environment. Today, I'm going to walk you through the entire research paper and what it means for future innovation. If you'd like to learn about it yourself, I'm also leaving a link in the description below so that you can take a look at this research paper yourself. This is constantly developing technology. So as you see these environments, if you're thinking to yourself, I could have done this better on an iPad, I want you to keep in mind that this is just the beginning. Just based on a single prompt, Genie is able to create whole environments that you're able to walk around in, interact with, and generate on the fly. They demonstrate using your keyboard to move around in a virtual environment just like you normally would. They first start with showing the different environments that the AI is able to create just based off of an image. So they have a robot in the woods, in ancient Egypt, on a random purple planet, and even an apartment in a big city. And what you're noticing is that it's both first person and third person. And as we'll get to in a little bit, they also demonstrated a top down view. Genie is also able to generate counterfactuals, which is basically taking a single image and changing the outcome based on player input. So in one experience, you may just be going straight and another experience, you may be turning the boat and it'll change the direction accordingly. In each instance, the experience changes depending on the user input. What Genie can also do is hold in long term memory so that if you are in a larger environment, it'll render what's in front of you, but also remember what you already passed. And when you turn around and go back where you were, it'll render the same thing accurately. If you input a single image and a prompt, currently they are able to generate the world for up to a minute. And these were the three environments that I was talking about before. You can have a first person view a third person view, or even a third person driving video. Genie is able to create 3D shapes to create brand new designs and artifacts. Not only can you move around in Genie's created world, but you can interact with different objects as well as different characters or NPCs. So in these examples, you can burst a balloon, you can blow up a barrel, you can walk through a door. However, you can also interact with the person next to you. You can interact with this balloon where you shoot it and it deflates. When Genie becomes available for you to try, you'll also be able to interact in different environments and have different character animations. So if they're climbing up a ladder or if they're jumping through the forest, Genie will automatically create brand new character movements. So it's not like a still image going up the ladder awkwardly. This research paper also talked about in this new world, you will also be able to see physics in real life whether that be water simulations or smoke simulations or even gravity simulations, you'll be able to see the pointed light. In the video of the dungeon, you see a shadow of light on the ground or you see light on the ground where it's illuminating the darkness. It can also emulate reflections. So if you're looking at a mirror inside of the video game, you'll be able to see yourself or see the environment as well. Something that is pretty cool that we already have the technology for this just takes it up one notch is the real life images. So we all know those panorama images. And if you have a virtual reality headset, you can actually look around, which is kind of cool. This takes it up a notch and animates the world that you're in. The grass will move, the water will flow, right? The trees will blow in the wind. So it's not just a still image anymore. You can actually take an image and it will generate a living, breathing video that you can now walk around in. Those mountains in the background now, you can walk to them, right? That water in the foreground, now you can jump into it. In this research paper, Google also talks about how Genie can do something called rapid prototyping, which is where it'll take an image and create an environment based on it. It can change specific parts of that image. So in these examples, it's all the same prompt, however, Genie can animate different avatars and give you different backgrounds. Genie can also take images given by their partners who they work with or whoever volunteers to give them prompts. They can take concept art and turn it into fully interactive environments. So what that means is if you give it one image, it can turn your image into environments and combining everything that it's doing, change certain aspects of it. So it can change the broccoli looking trees into actual trees. 
It can turn the trees in the background into the Sahara Desert. Google also talked about how they'll be able to use SEMA in order to interact with the environment based on a prompt. So in their example, they tell Imogen 3 to create this picture of a red door and a blue door. And with that, they can prompt Imogen to go through the blue door or go through the red door and it'll recreate a brand new environment based on the prompt that it gives you. In their example, it takes different video games, like in Goat Simulator 3, it tells it to drive the car, and the goat goes ahead and drives the car, right? You can prompt him to jump the fence, and the goat will jump the fence. It's taking everything in the environment into account and producing a result based on that without user input. Just based on a prompt, the AI is automatically able to do that, and in Genie's case, create a brand new environment along with that prompt. In addition to that, if you have a single picture and it's facing forward and you tell Genie to turn around using SEMA, it'll be able to generate that environment. Taking this prompt of an adventurer with three choices. If you tell Genie to go where the plants are, the AI will automatically make the night go through the plant door. If you tell him to go up the stairs, the knight will go up the stairs and the environment around the stairs will be generated and using its capabilities, the environment that it generates will be based on the environment that it was just in. It's not gonna be like he goes up the stairs and it's a brand new world where he's driving cars in a post-apocalyptic environment. If you wanna get onto the development side of things or learn how these models work they describe it in pretty good detail and give different links for what they're doing as well but that's it for me that's genie 2 in a nutshell right now it's just a research paper so i'm looking forward to see where this goes from now when google does release this to the public if they ever do release it to the public so that you can try it out for yourselves i'll make sure you to let you know in order to see that when it drops make sure you subscribe and while you're down there make sure you leave a like and i want to know your thoughts down below are you looking forward to this technology if you are let me know what you're most excited for and if you're not let me know why. And with that, I'll catch you guys next time.